Gunslinger Spawn, issue number one from Image Comics. So this was a series I was looking forward to, because, I mean, it's Spawn, but with the Western motif. And, uh, yeah, that sounds cool. <laughs> like, I love Western horrors. I feel like we need a lot more Western horrors. We need more Western horrors in comics, in uh, movies, in video games, just in everything. I feel like there's not enough Western horror. So to have... Uh, a Western horror comic series is kind of cool. A bit of a shame that he's taking place in our modern times instead of in his times. Though I will say there are stories of Gunslinger Spawn back in his time. This is basically kind of like the other Spawn stories from the Spawn universe or like King Spawn and stuff. Where it's it's like an anthology of stories. So for this uh, review I'm only going to be covering the first one. And uh, I'll be covering the, the entire first little story. But there's uh, like three or four more other stories uh, that also deal with Gunslinger Spawn, but they take place in like the past and things like that. This one is the the one I'm doing is the one that follows the um, the main storyline. So it basically it follows the uh, the Spawn universe storyline. So yeah, uh, in fact, we actually start off with a scene from Spawn Universe One with uh, Al Simmons going his own way and uh, Gunslinger Spawn going his. And Gunslinger Spawn basically uh, removes some uh, some bushes to reveal a motorcycle, which he drives off. And um, eventually his motorcycle breaks down. And that's when we see uh, another major character in this series, or at least in this issue. Whether he plays a big part in the series later on, I don't know. It looks like they're setting him up to be like the sidekick, kind of. <laughs> like the, um, not the unwanted, but the uh, kind of the forced sidekick for Gunslinger Spawn. Uh, so yeah, this is Taylor. He works at a uh, gas station. And of course, as soon as his boss leaves and it's his turn to, you know, cover the shift, he immediately goes out to party. And uh, when he comes back, he discovers Gunslinger Spawn inside the gas station garage and the motorcycle. And Gunslinger Spawn basically pulls a gun on him and, you know, asks like, uh, do you know what's wrong with my contraption? And Taylor basically says, yeah, it's out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> like there's nothing wrong with your motorcycles it's just you ran out of gas and of course uh gunslinger spawn like he gets upset he's like you know don't mess with me what you're talking about what's gas we get just like some i guess humorous moments where taylor's trying to explain about horsepower and what exactly you know gas is and how motorcycles work and like you know if you don't know how to do things why don't you look it up on google on your phone and Gunslinger's like, I don't know what Google is and what's a phone. Um, but yeah, Gunslinger's looking for uh, Twin Buttes. Uh, it's a town. And Taylor's like, are you serious, dude? Like, we're there. Like, didn't you see the big sign? He's like, oh, you can't read, can you? He's like, no. <laughs> uh, I don't need to read. This is how I survive. And he shows, like, all of his weapons, which I think is kind of cool. I also like the fact that uh, he's like, you know, you want to know why my hat is so tall? And he, he'll, he pulls a giant Bowie knife out of his hat and i'm like all right yes like this this gunslinger is just he's ready to go and that's when he gets uh attacked by an angel an angel uh spears spawn from behind and uh we, we get a battle it's uh pretty quick i mean the angel kind of just tosses uh gunslinger around and gunslinger uses his uh his revolver to shoot at the angel and he uh the angel uses his wings to like protect him but Basically, um, damaging an angel's wings is like a big no-no. Uh, that's like the quickest way to piss off an angel is to damage their wings because you're defiling the wings given to them by God. It's like considered an act of blasphemy. This angel, just driven by bloodlust, just charges right at Gunslinger, and that's when he uses the opportunity to shoot him right in the head and kill him. And then uh, he basically ties up the angel, and he tells uh, Taylor, hey, like, there's only a couple ways that you can kill uh, an angel. Like if you shoot them, you know, in the chest or whatever, like this. And he pulls out a shotgun and shoots them in the chest. You know, nothing's going to happen. The only way to kill them is to shoot them in the head. So he shoots them in the head. And then uh, he's like, you know, if you if you run out of bullets, uh, remember, you can you can use like pretty much anything. And he like pulls out his knife and he throws his knife at this angel. We get like a close-up of the angel's face just like brutalized with gunfire and knives. He's like, hey, so Taylor, do you wanna, you wanna give it a try? And Taylor's like, no, I'll, I'll pass. And uh, the angel disappears because you know, once an angel is dead, it kind of just dissolves. 
and uh, he's like, all right, I need you to take me to your father's. And the reason why Gunslinger wants to go to his father's is because Taylor has uh, parts there at the house that he can use to soup up the motorcycle and make it like even better than it is. But Taylor keeps telling him, like, uh, I don't think that's a good idea. Like, my dad doesn't like me to, to be home without his like permission. My dad won't even give me a car because he doesn't want me popping in. Like, the only way I can come home is either when my dad tells me to or when my dad comes to pick me up. Gunsling is like, don't you find that a little weird? But we're going anyways. So Taylor shows up and he discovers his dad in a meeting with a bunch of angels. And his dad, you know, freaks out. He's like, you know, what the hell are you doing here, you idiot? Like, I told you never to come here like unannounced. And of course, the angels are like, well, I know he's your son, but we can't have any humans knowing that we're here, so we got to kill him. And his dad's like, yeah, I know. Go ahead. <laughs> I was like, wow, this dad's a piece of garbage. He doesn't even really put up a fight. I mean, I know it's angels, and they would just totally destroy him if he, like, tries to go against them. But, I mean, it's your kid. At least try, you know? At least, like, beg for for, for forgiveness or something. But, nah. So they grab Taylor, and they, uh, they go to march him out and bury him outside. When Gunslinger appears from the rooftop and he's going to fight these angels. And that's how that little story ends. And of course, like I said, there there's more stories. There's the lynching, which takes place in Spawn's Pass. Gunslinger Spawn's Pass. There's weapons, which also takes place in Gunslinger Spawn's Pass. There's a small gift, which again takes place, you know, in the Wild West, the past. And uh, yeah, so th there are actual Gunslinger stories that take place in the Gunslinger time. But uh, I just wanted to cover just the main story because, uh, yeah, I feel like like the other ones are kind of more, um, what's the word I want to look for? I don't want to say background story, but the supplemental stories. They're, they're supplemental stories. There are stories there, like if you want to get more of the gunslinger in his past and stuff, which is really cool. But uh, if you just want just like the main story that actually fits into the Spawn universe and the King Spawn and all that stuff, then you just got to read the main one. But yeah, so I will say this is awesome. I freaking love this issue this issue is cool i like the gunslinger spawn i just i love his design i love his weapons like i've always like when it comes to guns i i always love like the old school like the, the revolvers and the, like like my one of my favorites is like the, the lamont revolver but i love like the the wild west guns and stuff like that like the guns you see in westerns and things like that and i always like them more than like the modern day weapons i don't know why just something cool about like classic revolver and stuff but um yeah plus i mean I, I like horror westerns i feel like we need more of them but yeah this was an awesome issue I, I like it i like the gunslinger's personality i like how like naive he is to like modern day stuff like the fact he gets pissed off because his motorcycle runs out of gas and he has no idea <laughs> what that means and things i mean it makes sense because he comes from the, the 1800s he comes from like the civil war times so obviously he won't have any idea what the hell our modern day technology is. But yeah, I like his character and I like this the way the story is shaping up. It's kind of interesting. Um, so I'm interested to see where it goes. But yeah, plus the artwork. The artwork is freaking beautiful. Like I love this artwork. Then again, like it's Spawn. Spawn usually has like gorgeous artwork. At least all the stuff, the Spawn stuff I've read does. Which admittedly isn't that much. I haven't read a lot of Spawn. I just read like the first like 10 or 12 issues. I read some of the spin-off stuff like Spawn and Batman. I read a little bit of uh, when Al Simmons came back after like, when he was resurrected. I only read like, a couple of issues since then. Uh, but yeah, everything everything from Spawn like, that I've read, like just beautiful artwork. And this kind of continues the trend. The artwork is great. Coloring is great. I like the, the story he is telling me so far. Like everything about this, is, it, w it was good. I like this issue a lot. So highly recommend it. Go check it out. It was awesome. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to see where they're going with uh, with this story. And how it's going to fit into the, the rest of the Spawn universe. Because right now, Gunslinger is on his own. So I'm wondering when he's going to meet up again with, uh, with Al Simmons, with King Spawn. OG Spawn. Uh, I guess we'll find out as we go along but yeah there you go gunslinger spawn issue number one from image comics go check it out it was awesome uh but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys got any recommendations for comics let me know manga let me know and hey if you guys know any good like horror westerns let me know i'm always trying to find some of those stuff those stuff are good but they're there's very there's not that much out there at least not that not not stuff out there that's like easy to find <laughs> for me anyways 
But uh, yeah, I yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope to see you next time. Take care, everybody. Later. So what did you guys think of that video? I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe. Hit that bell for a notification. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you didn't enjoy the video, thank you for watching it this far. And I hope the next video is more to your liking. Feel free to check out the playlist that you guys see. And I hope to see you guys next time. Later.